in this video we are going to see data block exchange example of 8085 the problem is the question will ask to swap a block of data stored in memory location starting at 2500 there will be one location like this with the other location 35 so here in this case it is 2500 and 3500 are the beginning addresses of the block the length of the block is stored at location 24 ffh to visualize this question properly there are two blocks here this is block 1 and this is block 2 we have to exchange the data and length how how many bytes we have to process that is stored here in this location 24 ff let's see the sample data explanation with sample data is here before the data i have highlighted the length uh, with red color so the font is red that doesn't mean it is a special value only thing is this value is containing uh, length of the byte which we have to process that we have to remember right so before begin this was the data at so this data is length is 5 and data is length is 5 and we have to exchange this data so 67 should go here at this location and f3 should go here so after program runs expected output is like this all the values from this block have shifted here and from this block have shifted here so it is this is what we are to we are going to do okay let's see the program now first we have to take the length somewhere in register so lda takes the length here at accumulator then that length is shifted copied to register b here now this register c will be treated as a counter and every time we will do action will decrement this register c two addresses are involved in this program first address lxi h is here that is copied h and l registers next address 3500 is copied in this register pair now we have to repeat this action five times here there will be a looping code first i'll call this block say i'll call this block 1 and i will call the other block as block 2 from block 2 the value will go to register b here then from second block the value goes here to f3 uh, in accumulator so block 1's value is here block 2's value is here now both values are taken in registers now we have to send them in different locations so block 1's value should go to block 2 and vice versa here the exchange next is exchange instruction that exchange the content of de and hl pair so these values are exchanged these two values are exchanged now again next line is move b to m so 67 is going here stack d next line f3 goes here stack command takes content from accumulator and puts in the pair which is mentioned so de pair is pointing to 22500 it goes here so you have observed we have exchanged first values from the blocks each now we have to do same thing for next address so to do that inxh will increment second block's address hold a uh, value which is hold and inxd will increase the value to 35 so d becomes 2501 now since one round is complete c is decremented c becomes now 4 0 flag will not be set so goes back to 
लेबल लू नेक्स्ट मूव एम टू बी सो दिस वैल्यू गोज टू ही रजिस्टर बी एल डी एक्स डी सो डी पेयर इज टू फाइव जीरो वन दैट वैल्यू वैल्यू फ्रॉम दैट एड्रेस गोज टू एक्यूमिनेटर ए एक्सचेंज एक्सचेंज विल एक्सचेंज दिस टू वैल्यू सो डीई पेयर होल्ड्स थ्री फाइव जीरो वन एच एल पेयर होल्ड्स सॉरी एच एल पेयर होल्ड्स टू फाइव जीरो वन नेक्स्ट मूव बी टू एम दैट वैल्यू गोज टू टू फाइव जीरो वन दैट इज एड्रेस होल्ड बाय एच एल पेयर स्टैक्स डी कंटेंट ऑफ एक्यूमेटर गोज टू डीई पेयर एड्रेस दैट इज सी फाइव गोज हियर now you have seen one more pair of address is exchange go to next address annex h increases hl pairs value annex d because d pair value decrement c and as you have noticed that this loop will continue till register c becomes zero so now you'll see it will go for 2502 and 3502 next round the values are exchanged Again decremented C. Now C is two. Value from three five zero three and two five zero three are exchanged here. Decremented C. Now C has become zero one. So this is the last round. Values are exchanged. Now here decremented C. Now this has become zero. And because of this flag is set. Z is now one. Now, when Gen Z loop instruction is executed, it will not go to loop because it is zero flag set, and program ends. Goes to halt. I hope you understood this frequently asked program. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more eight zero eight five macro processor programs.